Hello everyone, it's Akizil here, and tonight I'll be reacting to Hell of a Boss vs. Murder Drone short crossover animation by Moro Productions. I'm a bit of a fan of, and of both Hell of a Boss by Vivzy Pop and Murder Drones by Le Liam Vickers. And, and this actually ended up showing up in, up in my recommendeds. And so I felt like checking it out and, and sharing the, bring the first impression with you guys. Now, I will say that based on what I know about, about both, I honestly think that, think that the drones ones have the advantage here. On, unless one of two caveats happens. And that is... That either A, IMP can hold out until daybreak, at which point the drones have to pull back because they'll, you know, overheat and die in the sunlight. Or they use fire or other means to overheat them. The other way is if Stolas is helping being Blitzo and the others, well, Blitz, because they're always silent, but yeah, if Stolas is actually helping, then the and well, not just just with fact that yeah, not just the fact of what Stolas can do, but also the spells in his grimoire could really tip the balance. But either way, I'm interested to see how this turns out, and and I highly recommend you guys check out the original video, give it a like, and show Moral Production some love. Uh, but without further ado, let's see how this plays out. Let's see. I think I'll be with images source slash edge. Yeah, it, it oh, okay, I see. <laughs> oh, cute plush. Hey, are you the big shot running this interesting joint? <laughs> oh, it's one of the humans from the murder drones intro. Oh, uh, well, pilot, when everything blew up. Wait. Oh, circus tickets. That's right. I am Blitz, the always silent. What can I do for you today? Who we killing? Nobody. The need of you all. Expertise to get to the snowy exoplanet Copper 9. There's an underground bunker that I need you to uh, take care of. You know, blow into smithereens. Oh, wow, you guys live in space now. Let me guess, got stabbed by a unicorn, maybe? <laughs> Unicorns are real, right? What? <laughs> no. I dedicated the past few years of my life to my responsibilities on Copper 9. However, one day while en route to take a well-deserved day off, something unexpected happened. <laughs> yeah, I've no idea what the fuck. <laughs> ah, so... ah, so when so when the corp came on stable, well, he was just having a. Having a lovely walk in, uh, in, uh, in the frosty woods. Happened. Point is, that bunker holds secrets I'm not inclined to reveal to anyone in that planet. So you better ensure there's no trace left behind. As for my sudden death, I don't really care. Jobs here are way easier and pay more. Yeah, right. I'll- Wait. <laughs> Jobs in hell pay more than Copper 9? 
Well, actually, that kind of makes sense when you consider er, J.C. Jensen in space. <laughs> Being the big megacorp that controls who knows how much. I'll handle the paperwork once I, you know, figure out this copper nine tomfuckery. Just give me a few days, okay? Also, since this isn't what we usually do, and you can't get this kind of service anywhere in hell, the additional fees are gonna be very expensive. <sighs> Bloody hell. All right, Eminem. You know, that is a good point, actually, that they really could make bank off of this, considering that, well... To my knowledge, yeah, they are the only ones in hell who offer that service. We've got a job to do! Gather every explosive we have, we're gonna blow up a bunker! I'm gonna put these babies to good use. Uh, what's in the bunker, sir? Do we even know what we're destroying? Ah, who cares, Moxie? It's full of old junk that the client doesn't want anyone to see when he wants it gone. So, we're just gonna bring the boom without knowing what's inside? Count me in! That's the spirit, Millie! Besides, who doesn't enjoy a bit of fireworks every once in a while? <sighs> well, if it's what the client wants, let's get ready. Hmm. Let's just hope it's not something we'll regret. Yep, already regretting this. Now, I will say, if they're going to be fighting inside the bunker, that actually, well, uh, depending on what part of the bunker they're in, that might actually give quite the benefit to the drones, because it's dark down there. Sunlight wouldn't reach them. Sir, why didn't the client mention anything about this freezing weather? Couldn't they have given us, I don't know, a heads up? I hope this bunker is worth the freeze. I don't see anything. I know, right? How are we supposed to find anything in this? <laughs> that was easy. Wait. Wait, how did... How are we supposed to find anything in this... <laughs> that was easy. For a second there, I thought a portal opened up and you just fell straight back into hell. These super cryptic coordinates are messing with my head! Clearly whoever's behind this is hiding something very important. Uzi, we've been walking for hours. Don't you think we should head back? Sunrise is only a few minutes away. But we're so close! I can feel it! Or... Perhaps your little treasure hunt game doesn't lead to anything and we're just wasting our time! We gotta stumble upon something eventually. Can you try and trust me for once? Call me paranoid, but I feel like you're just here to mock me whenever the mood strikes. Now you're catching on! <sighs> I knew it was you sh** for brains! <gasps> Profanity! She started it! Well, I am finishing it. Come on, let's... On second thought... We'll say that seems a little... Well, I guess much for Uzi, cause... While she's definitely in the angsty teen phase... Is... Is... I can't... I can't recall her actually getting that harsh with anyone, but then again... And the... Oh, also, want to mention... It is... And it is nice, is how close they actually got with, uh, with the voices. I think the purple thing is onto something. Catch you later! Gotta admit, that was quite a change of pace. But we do need to get back before we get spotted. I doubt anyone will be living here. But yeah, sure, it's cold as fuck. Millie, you got the book, right? Well, that's gonna be a problem. So, no magic. Oh, you just made a big fucking mistake. Oh, well, I didn't quite hit the mark. I was aiming for the head. <laughs> you know, maybe we should hold off on shooting people as our immediate response. Let's try a different approach. They blew up the place. They're clearly up to something. Let's not rush to conclusions, okay? I am pretty sure- You two stop it. As for you twisted pyromaniacs, 
You better start explaining the cause of this fiery mess or things are gonna get ugly. Oh, it already did! Anytime. <laughs> uh, uh, this, despite the fact they're in a fight, it how others how they're so courteous to each other. Fine. Wait. Shit. <laughs> oh come on! I thought we were pals. Huh. Ooh, nice moves from Millie there. Uh oh. <laughs> Stop fucking shit! Whoa! Ah! Ah! shit. You know, that's also one of the reasons why it is, is I put things in the favor of the drones, because, well, as we've seen, in V got decapitated, N got shot in the head several times, and that self-repair is keeping them going, because, well, those aren't exactly debilitating injuries for the drones. And then there's the shenanigans of Absolute Solver. Hmm. I would say that looks like looks like a pretty good victory for the drones, but there's still time left. And stole us to the rescue. What? Oh, nice. Uh, seeing Stola us, us, us nursing Blitz back to health. Oh, we'll say, oh, that, oh, that was, oh, that was definitely fun to watch.
Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a problem finding out for, for Blitz. And also for Stolas, because he can't do his job anymore. Not the book's gone. But yeah, that that was really fun to watch. Then the team at More Productions and did great with it. It I'd say, hey, you guys really should go check out the original video. A link to it will be in the description below. Oh, show them some love. Of they really deserved it with how hard they worked on this. Is it was a real treat to watch. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching with me. But until next time, ta-ta!